So next question is 2.11 from NCRT. A 25 watt bulb emits monochromatic yellow light of wavelength of 0.57 micrometer. Uh, Calculate the rate of emission of quanta per second. So here they have given what is the um, wavelength which is 0.57 micrometer and here in this question quanta calculate the rate of emission of quanta so when you say rate of emission of quanta quanta basically means small packets of energy all right and they travel in the form of light so in this case what is given to us is a lambda value so lambda equals 0 0.57 micrometer now this one to be converted to meter this will be equal to 0 0.57 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter so that is the conversion to meter now we have to find out what is the energy of one photon keeping this value so here we will say energy of one photon e is equal to h nu but we don't have the new value but instead what we can do is this nu can be uh, expressed in terms of wavelength so here we can rewrite this entire equation as e is equal to h c by lambda so from this h is a Planck's constant so h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second c is velocity of light so c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now velocity is in terms of meter that's why the wavelength is also converted to meter we'll just substitute all these values in the formula so h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second by lambda value is 0 0.57 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter now meter and meter will get cancelled seconds inverse and seconds will get cancelled 6.626 into 3 divided by 0 0.57 will be 34.873 into minus 6 when it goes up it will become plus 6 so minus 34 plus 8 plus 6 will be 10 to the power minus 20 joules or this will just shift the decimal to the left so this will become 3.4873 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules so this is going to be the energy of one photon now here it says that we need to calculate this in terms of per second all right so energy of photon energy of photon emitted per second equals 25 watt now 25 watt when you try to convert it it's an energy parameter when you convert it to joules this will become 25 joule per second now it says that one photon can emit this much of energy therefore how many photons can emit this energy so here we will write one photon emits 3.4873 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules therefore x photon emits 25 joule per second 
we just have to cross multiply this so in this case x will be equal to 25 joule per second into 1 photon divided by 3.4873 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules joule and joule will get cancelled 25 divided by 3.4873 will be equal to 7.168 into 10 to the power minus 19 when it goes up it will become 10 to the power plus 19. now for this the unit is going to be photon per second so this is going to be the rate of emission of quanta per second so per second these many photons will be emitted out so here they say calculate the rate of emission of quanta per second how many photons are emitted per second that is what you have calculated here it is going to be these many photons per second